I'm catching up with Gavin Fenter regarding the Tara Lang runners on Friday and they are just back from track. Now they're going to kick off in race two with two runners. We're going to start with Gut Gotcha Buzz and she's shown improvement of recent with every one of her recent starts. Yeah, uh, Nadine, it's no secret that there's a virus going around mm. and she's one of the horses who got the virus the first time around. So she was in a race, you had to scratch her, you do the right thing, you got to back off completely. We backed off, she got over it, like the other horses got over it. So she's back in full work, she's got a nice draw, she's looking really well, she's working well. I think she's got a good chance. She'll be joined by Royal Venus. Now Royal Venus, normally a steady finisher. Gav, she just didn't quite round up last time out. I must say, a bit disappointing. I thought, you know, she, she was a big runner there, especially over the distance. This is a 1200. Might be a little bit quick for her. I've already spoken to Donald that he's going to have to box clever. But it's a handicap. That's her best chance of ever winning a race, and it's on the poly. So I said, Donald, you just got to box clever. You're going to be a little bit outpaced. You've got to get a clear run. It's a big field. There's going to be a lot of traffic problems. If you're too wide, if you're three wide, you just got to get a clear run. So if all goes well, yes, you can run into the money, but it's going to be a dicey race. In race three, Bell's first wave. I've just watched him come back from track. He's such a good looking horse and he was on his toes. Now you might call him a professional maiden, but Gav, you can't take away from him. He's always earning and he's always trying. Yeah, I've just worked him with Royal <laughs> Venus and he's just, he's surprising. He works so, so well and he comes in a race and he jumps out and he just plods. So he's very frustrating. He's definitely got a win in him. He's draw one. He's got Raymond on. Yeah, all things are looking good. So I think he's got a chance. Grey Smoke in race five won a really gutsy race last time out. He loves track and trip. Yes, he's, uh, we're going to stick to the poly for now because he's stuck up going down to the starter one and we had to repass him. So he's going down to the, with the lead pony because he's stuck up last time as well. So yeah, all, all looking good. Um, he's drawn well. He doesn't really like much cover, but let's see how Raymond gets him out the pens and he could have a chance. In the background behind us, Joyous Jubilee is getting wiped down by Richard after some work and uh, you'll see him in race eight. Now, he is also a horse that's always about the action. He's going to really appreciate being back on Polly. Yeah, I've just worked him now. He's quite a strong horse, you know, but he's controllable, but he, he, he does, does a lot of work at home. He's working really well. We're taking a chance over the 13 from the draw. He's drawn yeah. two. You know, Raymond must just bounce him out. He's going to get there for nothing. If he's in front, he must just hold him up. If he gets cover, even better. But it's a lot in his favour. He must just jump out, take his time. If one or two uh, go around him, it'll be perfect. If they don't, then he must just hold him up. Yeah. It's a short straight. I think the short straight is better for him because he just seems to run out of petrol the last bit on the grass. So we're expecting a good run. Whatever plays out, I do think Joyous Jubilee has got a decent shot at the win.